Typography evolved from handwriting, which is created by making a series of marks by hand. Therefore, the fundamental element constructing a letter form is the linear stroke. Each letter of our alphabet developed as a simple, simple mark whose visual characteristics clearly separated it from all the others. The marking properties of brush, reed pen, and stone engraver's chisel influenced the early form of the alphabet. The reed pen is used in ancient Rome and is in the medieval monastery was held at an angle called a cant to the page. This produced a pattern of thick and thin strokes. Since the time of the ancient, ancient Greeks, capital letter forms have consisted of, the simple, of simple geometric forms based on the circle, square, and triangle. The basic shape of each capital letter can be extracted from this, which is composed of a bisected, bisected square, a circle, a triangle, an inverted triangle, and two smaller circles. The resulting vocabulary of forms, however, lacks several important attributes, optically adjusted proportions, expressive design properties, and maxim maximum legibility and readability. The transition from rudimentary mark to letter forms with graphic clarity and precision is a matter of design. Because early capital letters were cut into stone, these letters de developed with minimum number of curved lines for curved strokes were difficult to cut. Lowercase letters evolved as reed pen writing. Curved strokes could be written quickly and were used to reduce the number of strokes ne needed to write many characters. Over the centuries, a nomenclature has evolved that identifies the various components of individual letter forms. By learning this vocabulary, designers and typographers can develop a greater understanding and sensitivity to the visual harmony and complexity of the alphabet. In medieval times, horizontal guidelines were drawn to contain and align each line of lettering. Today, letter forms and their parts are drawn on imaginary guidelines to bring uniformity to typography. Baseline, an imaginary line which the base of each capital rests. Cap line, an imaginary line that runs along the tops of the capital letters. Mean line, an imaginary line that establishes the height of the body of lowercase letters. X height, the distance from the baseline to the mean line. Typically, this is the height of the lowercase letters and is most easily measured on the lowercase x. All characters align optically on the baseline. The body height of the lowercase characters align optically at the x height and the tops of the capitals align optically along the cap line. To achieve precise alignments, the typeface designer makes optical adjustments. The following visual examples identifies the major components of a letter form construction. The sender, a stroke on a lowercase letter that rises above the mean line. Leg, the lower diagonal stroke on the letter K. Bowl, a curved stroke including the counterform of a letter. An exception is the bottom form of the lowercase g, which is called a loop. Ear, a small stroke that project projects from the upper right side of the bowl of a lowercase roman g. Descender, a stroke on a lowercase letter form that falls below the, the baseline. Link, the stroke that connects the bowl and the loop of a lowercase roman g. Serifs, short strokes that extend from an end angle to the upper and lower ends of the major strokes of a letter form. Counter, the negative space that is fully or partially enclosed by a letter form. Spur, a projection smaller than a serif that reinforces the point at the end of a curved stroke as in the letter G. Arm, a projecting horizontal stroke that is unattached on one or both ends as in the letter T and E. Stem, a major vertical or diagonal stroke in the letter form. Terminal, the end of any stroke that does not terminate with a serif. Shoulder, a curved stroke projecting from the stem. Tail, a diagonal stroke or loop at the end of a letter as in R or J. Stroke, any of the linear elements within a letter form. A 
originally any mark or dash made by the movement of a pen or brush in writing. Apex. The peak of a triangle on the uppercase A. Crossbar. The horizontal stroke connecting two sides of the letter form A, as in E, A, or H, or bisecting the main stroke, as in F, and a T. Mm -hmm. Filet. The contoured edge that connects the serif and stem and bracketed serifs. Bracketed serifs are connected to the main stroke by this curved edge. Unbracketed serifs connect to the main stroke with an abrupt angle without this contour transition. Hairline. The thinnest stroke within the type base that has strokes of varying weights. I. The enclosed part of the lowercase e. Spine. The central curved stroke of the letter S. And that concludes the basics of typography or Typography 101.